the Daily Star Sunday says the Soaps cast are upset. Walkout, it declares. But back to the States now and police in Arizona searching for a second suspect in connection with the shootings which have left six people dead and that U.S. Congresswoman fighting for her life. Well, joining us in the studio now, Dr. James Boyce, Assistant Professor of International Political Studies at the American University in Richmond. Good morning. Thanks for coming in. Good morning. Um, we reflect that this is not new in terms of political killings, assassinations or attempted assassinations, but it's been referred to by the sheriff in the background of what he described as, as, as vitriol mm -hmm. in, in Arizona. Is this new? Is this peculiar? Is this different? It's, it's very difficult because obviously each case is unique, but what is unfortunate is this is the latest in a long line of what I would refer to as political violence in the United States. Yep. Uh, if we start talking about assassinations, obviously that takes it into a slightly different realm, but uh, political violence is, uh, is something which is inherent, it would appear, in American society. And uh, throughout its long, uh, long history, uh, there have been a number of key incidents. What is unusual here is that this is targeted against a female uh, and against a relatively unknown member of the lower house of Congress. Uh, in the past, we can remember, I'm sure, uh, major assassination attempts against members of the Senate and against the president. Mm. But uh, this is a, a troubling trend, I think, against a, a female and, a, as I said, a, a relatively unknown member of Congress. There, there has been railing against the federal system, particularly in some states down in the south. Mm -hmm. um, is there something peculiar or particular about Arizona as well? Well, Arizona, as, as you as yourself and some of your viewers might be aware, has become a real hotbed in the last couple of months with regard to immigration issues, for example. Because of the Mexican border. Uh, absolutely. But what's interesting about this, this individual in question is that she's not some wild-eyed left-wing pinko that the extreme right could really be focusing upon. She's, you know, what's referred to as a, a blue dog Democrat, you know, which means that she often votes with the Republican Party. She's, you know, she's pro-gun ownership. Um, so you would have thought she'd be someone who they wouldn't have a, a, an issue with, which, which takes us into another legal altogether, which is, was this targeted because of her opinions or just because she was an elected yeah. official? Yeah, I mean, talking about wild-eyed politics, and, and we're heading towards, of course, the presidential campaign starting to, to gear up. Um, much being made of the Tea Party Sarah Palin mm -hmm. and this use of these crosshairs, these targets... And, and certainly she was targeted politically, as we've seen this map mm -hmm. of, of Arizona. That's the, the Sarah Palin website there with yeah. uh, Arizona there. Um, and in particular, this sort of diary note that we see then um, about, uh, I think, you know, 6th of, of December, 10 a.m., get on target for victory in November, help remove Gabriel Giffords from office, shoot a fully automatic M16 with Jesse Kelly. Now, I mean... <clears throat> Does this actually tell us more about grassroots politics in the States? It's, it's worrying. I was over in the States uh, for the midterm elections mm. uh, back in the, in the fall. And, you know, you go from district to district, and this is occurring all across America. Really? Um, so it's you know, not isolated? It's not generally. isolated. This idea of, you know, I mean, to paraphrase George W. Bush, you're either with us or against you. There's no grey area. It's black mm. or white. You're either for us or against us. There's political enemies and opponents. This isn't nothing new. I mean, President Nixon used to talk about the enemies list, of course. But, you know, when you've got it coming down to this level and you've got, you know, young men out there with too much time on their hands and too much access to semi-automatic weapons, uh, it, it presents all sorts of problems. And this is just the latest in a long line of the sort of political violence. And, and perhaps a taste of what, what the, the presidential campaign may be, may be like, or unless they try and address it in, you know... Well, let's hope not. I think what we have here is an opportunity. Uh, Bill Clinton took the opportunity with Oklahoma and reclaimed his presidency yeah. and restored uh, a, a period of calm. Yeah, this yeah. is Obama's opportunity to do the same. And stamp his authority. Absolutely. James, thanks very much indeed for joining no us. Thanks for your time.